Three, two, one, start. Alright, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Dude, okay, okay. Like this stream. You can do it. Uh, yeah, my stream is gonna be very unwatchable right now because my mom's in a, uh, <laughs> you know, video call. So my internet's kind of shitting itself right now. So than ever before. Uh... Yo, Agrab, you need to reveal the card on stream. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't. People just don't know what we're doing. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, we're just like randomly going to random places in the game for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my Star Revenge 7 Let's Play. There we are. So yeah, so originally I made Essence, so I made most of the challenges in this bingo, although King Toads helped me test it a lot. So me and King Toad have done a bunch of bingos before. A bunch is like three, but still. I made most of the challenges, but my, I, I say made, it's more I just copied the course names from SR 7.5 for my old SR 7.5 bingo. <laughs> So that's like how I made this bingo because originally I played an SR 7.5 bingo with King Toad. But the thing is, I got like a full entire all of the things on the board before King Toad get like two bingos. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> and at that point, yeah, I so instead we decided for SR 7 because it was more balanced. Yeah, it was more balanced because I kind of know SR 7 because I've played SR 7.5 and he kind of knows SR 7 because he ran it, but he kind of forgot the run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't really remember SR7 past like two days. So yeah, it's actually kind of balanced in that way. Yep. I see we both got, we both went for the same thing first. Yeah. Uh, that I seems could... to be an obvious goal to go first. Like yeah. It's, it's well, that's that's the the do. only level one goal, which is like the easiest of all of them. Yeah. I know, I know how difficult each of these goals are because I have to, I had to make some of them, or I guess not every single one of these goals, but like the really easy ones and the really difficult ones, I know like what difficulty they are. So since I'm not familiar with the Spingo at all, when does the run end? Do you have to fight Bowser? Uh, the, no, uh, the run just ends when somebody finds the It ends when uh, someone, when either one of us uh, completes the second row. Okay. Uh, At least that's how it worked before, you know? Uh, I just remembered to vanilla bingo and then that you have to do uh, oh to the Bowser fight. Yeah, th that this isn't vanilla bingo though, and anyway, even if we did the Bowser fight, it would kind of be... We couldn't like BLJ to the Bowser fight, so we'd have to... Unless, I mean, we could do the Zero Star, but no. I don't even know how to do that here. Uh, Probably actually shouldn't be here. I'm terribly, terribly sorry if my stream's unwatchable right now. I just, I can't really do anything about it right now. It's fine. At least my stream's probably watchable. Yeah. 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 Go watch the Envig instead. He's probably delivering better gameplay, anyways. Eh. Nice. <laughs> neither of us have actually. I don't know. I just find. It's a cop. So we already see a little bit of a route difference there. King Toad's yeah. still in course one, while the Envig <laughs> is in course four. I'm doing course Don't two. Don't spoil the fact that I'm in course four. I'm, no, I'm in course two. Okay. Okay. <laughs> No, it's okay. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know numbers in SR7 anymore. You ran no, SR7? Okay. okay, well, anymore, okay. <laughs> I had world record in SR7 at some point. Mm. Yeah, and it got taken by some weeb-ass people. Okay, uh, nah, th oh, this is like Anyways, a standard uh... opening that I go for, so it's fine. <laughs> have, I usually go to, like, course four. I should clarify. I, I usually go for course four or five first, because normally there's something in there from one of those two courses, and... I can get to them at the beginning if I do a skip. Also, something we should probably mention is the batch system in this game. Like, you cannot triple jump and walk kick right from the start. 
Yeah. That's uh, gonna be interesting for the routing, like if you get badges at all or not, I would assume. I mean, there is one. There is one thing on here that says collect five all five badges. So if you're going for that row, you gotta collect oh, all yeah. the badges, including that the lava like badge. A long goal. It is a long goal. This oh, is yeah. one. Of, it's one of the harder ones. Oh yeah, if the Invic ever goes to uh, course one, uh, I want everyone to say John Rose. <laughs> Specifically me going to course one. Okay, I'm not gonna get to course one. Well, because I'm assuming people can't hear my no. stream because it's already unwatchable. No, I'm joking. Yeah, we have the Invic's audio on stream. Yeah. Yeah, I figured you guys had my audio. So let me actually have a look at the golds there. Yeah, Every star in Hot Sunset Mountain, that seems like a stretch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, can already t I can already tell you that's like the only, that's the only spoiler I'm going to do, but I'm not going to go for that. <laughs> <laughs> I can agree with it. We're not, we're, neither of us are probably going to go for that. Also, just so you know... I'd rather give away the win. So, I think there's no impossible gold anymore. But I think yeah, the last bingo we did, there was an impossible goal. Because it was collect, like, what's it called? I think it was all the overworld red coin star, like three overworld, all three overworld red coin stars. But there's there no, no red over coin overworld stars in SR7. Yeah, but I just copied that's that. Only a 7.5 thing. Yeah, that's only a 7.5 thing. But I copied that goal over, and I didn't realize that it wasn't an SR7 whenever I copied it over. It deserves a round of applause. Yeah. Is anyone keeping track of the uh, objects from MOP patch? Uh, I... Uh, not me, personally. Yeah, not me either right now. I mean, I've touched a spring, but you've always touched a spring. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, okay yeah, I'm already to... fucking lost right now. Oh, I need to do that, yeah. Normally, you shouldn't see us get, like, any, um, any goals right now, but it will, it will come later. Yeah. Also, another thing is, <laughs> another thing is that there's always, like, one or two goals that you get accidentally. <laughs> yeah. Um... yeah. You'll probably also have to make sure you're getting enough stars to actually, uh, enter the later overworlds and stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's why you're going for some fast stars right now? Yeah. Right now I'd want <laughs> 10 to... I'd want 10 stars to go to course 6, which is where the super badge lies, which is the first badge you can get in this game. Someone might be conf unless you can read something, unless you can read a goal, you might be- somebody might be very confused. If, if somebody didn't know that this was bingo, they would be very confused about what I just did there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was really confused, and then I looked at the bingo board, and it says, Dive from getting crushed in five stages. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good goal. <laughs> I think that's one Luckily... of the SRs. I, I actually don't know if that's possible now that I'm thinking about it, but I think it's possible. It's gotta be possible. Well, at least with mob objects. Yeah, luckily you are on the version that has infinite life, so that would be an issue, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we we also choose to do this on one point at one point one because one point oh would mean that we would all we would both be doing BLJs at the start, and that's kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. Since one point one patched BLJs, which is also kind of boring, but in a different way. I think yeah. That's just because Brody's a dickhead. Anyways. Well, yeah. Movie on commentary. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Sorry, I I I collected that one wrong. Like, one start too early. Okay, my game keeps stuttering. This is awful. <laughs> Again. Also, chat, I am the only one who is reading it, so if you if you want to know something, I have to read it and I can ask the runners because the runners are not reading the chat to avoid, like, any... Route spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers. yeah. It's always like a big mystery what the other person is doing. Usually it's yeah. something stupid, like getting crushed, but... <laughs> I 
Wait, I think my stream is more stable again. Neat. That's good. Yeah, it's looking good right now. Finally stopped with the goddamn video call. <laughs> I guess I'll spoil what, something that I'm doing since it's not really that much of a spoiler, but an interesting thing about... So, like, I said that I know a lot about the sack from Ezra 7.5. One of the things that I know about the about the sack is, like, most blue coin switch locations, because for some reason Brody didn't remove them in 7.5. So I know there's a blue coin switch back here. And in fact, in uh, 1.0, in the 1.0 version of SR 7.5, you could actually get 100 coin stars by collecting 100 coins. Yeah, but Brodit really not, didn't intend you. You could do that in, you could, you could still do it. Yeah, and Brodit really didn't intend you for to be able to do that, but he just couldn't remove them until 1.1. Which is which is why it was removed in 1.1, by the way. Yeah. Although that does also mean that there's one star that you can't get badgeless in 1.1, which is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, WJG, uh, you don't need to beat the game in this format. You just get two rows, columns, or I assume diagonals are also... Diagonals are also allowed, yes. Yeah, and then the time just ends. Get this boop! Yeah, I keep forgetting that Course 4 has a star named the big toast of the castle. Yeah, it's a Spongebob reference. Huh. Did I know Suzuna got a 139 and 121 star recently? I did not. They got a 139? Damn. I only know they had like a 142. That was the last time I checked. No, I haven't been following SR7 runs at all. Me neither. Ah, <laughs> uh... oh, there he is. <clears throat> also, since the Envic tried to walk it there, I, I guess I gotta explain how walk hicks can still work, even though you don't have the walk hick patch. Yeah. Like if you if you die for that was just me being game... an idiot and forgetting that the wall badge didn't the wall badge existed, but. <laughs> 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 you can technically still wall kick, but but only one wall kick because you have to dive. Like it's either the same frame or the frame after you wall kick, and then you can still get a wall kick. But in the, uh, because you are in the diving state, then you cannot chain any wall kicks. But still, one wall kick to gain a little bit more height. That it's uh, crucial for some strats in the normal speedrun. Yeah. Like, you can do a wall kick and dive in the same frame, and then it's a badge of wall kick, and you can just... You can just wall kick without a badge. <laughs> but it's like only one wall kick, so it's not like... You still want the wall kick badge pretty quickly. I'm having so much trouble running right now, it's insane. Well, like, I know what red I'm gonna do, which is I keep going into the wrong places. I haven't, like... <sighs> Most of my routes suck. <laughs> right now I'm just trying to go for generally good things and trying to decide the route later. That's my strategy. Got exactly where the star was. I have to go somewhere else anyway. While I'm going there, I can think about routing. <sighs> that looks good. That's what I what I just did was a bad spawn kick. For anyone in chat who is curious. I can't see if anybody in chat was curious, but <laughs> surely someone.
that's probably just a coincidence, but have you ever realized how winter SRMs generally go worse than summer SRMs? <laughs> Actually, seems like. 